Hi, my name is Jeremy, and fancy seeing you here. Now, I just want to say a lot of things today, but I'm just really, really pissed for some reason. I don't know about myself. I mean, I'm a cheery type of guy, but when it comes down to some of the many things that piss me off, today just marked so many of them. So many. And it was just two really big things that really pissed me off, okay? And it's about people. First of which is arrogant, and the second of which is stubbornness. Two traits that I really don't like in people, and I just can't stand. Okay, let's talk about arrogance. Arrogance is something like being superior to others, and thinking that because you're more superior, you shouldn't talk to others who are less superior, you shouldn't you know, be acquainted with them, and you should only get to know people who are much better than you, or who are at your league. The first problem I have with arrogance is that that just shuts down all really big pieces of communication. Like, if you want to talk to someone, just saying hi, hello, want to make a new friend. You can't do that if someone's arrogant and they think that you are less better than them. Yeah, worse than them, I guess. Shut up, this is my thinking. But anyways, I just want to say that arrogance really doesn't get anywhere, okay? Guess how many friends you're going to meet in the future? Oh, wait. That's right, zero, because you're arrogant. And why do I think about arrogance today, and why am I so pissed at it today? It's because today I went to play badminton, haha, <laughs> because I'm an Asian, haha, <laughs> Bad no, it's just that I wanted to play. And I was there, and I was at the court. I didn't know a lot of people at the court, and that's just because I don't play there often. You know, I got my school, I got my videos, I got a lot of stuff to do, and, you know, just... Badminton was a great stress reliever, but today when I went there, that just totally pissed me off when I went to place with some of the people because they thought they were so good that they kicked me out of the court and, you know, they just didn't want to play with me and they didn't, you know, just had these like jeering thoughts and they just looked at me and, you know, it was so arrogant and their remarks were so arrogant as well. Like a lot of them didn't even want to say hi, weren't very nice and friendly. And you know, it's just a badminton court, okay? It's just having fun, it's a stress reliever, it's a great uh, opportunity to exercise, get to know others. Why are you being so arrogant, okay? This shuts down, you know, opportunities to meet new people, get to know others, just being happy. Why would you want to shut down being happy, okay? Look, the thing is, is that a good rule of thumb that I always follow is that I want respect, I always show respect first. So I always exert my respect, and if you don't return the respect, then fine, I'll take my respect back. But at the same time, you know, if you're arrogant, of course you're not going to respect me. Okay? That's why I have friends that are not arrogant. Because I want respect as much as I exert it. Okay, I'll say hi, I'll be very nice. As long as you exert respect, you know, you know, say hi as well, you know, have a little, like, talk. You know, we don't have to be BFFs, but... You know, don't be arrogant. Don't push away other people that want to be your friends, want to be acquainted with you, want to get to know you. It's important to set up your network. And if you're arrogant, once again, you're blocking off everyone except think people that, you know, you think are more superior than you. And you got to, you know, mooch off of them and you won't just get to know them because they're better, better in context. You know, either money or just knowing people or, you know, superficial stuff once again. This drives me nuts. I mean, this is badminton, okay? This is so representative of life, as I said um, to one of my friends, and it was just, it was awful. I mean, I love the sport, but, you know, it's fun and all, but I can't believe people are like this. I mean, I think we want to get off some of the, you know, stress on the court, and I can't believe they want to do this. Ugh. Okay, and the second thing that really pissed me off today was stubbornness. People have to be stubborn. I think it's a good trait to be stubborn, but you know, the reason why it's good to be stubborn is that when you ever have an argument and you have your own, you know, thoughts and opinions and your own viewpoint, it's good to back it up. It's good to be able to be strong and, you know, carry on over debates. And I do that too, as long as it's not so ridiculous that, of course, I'm trolling or anything like that. But at the same time, you can't be so stubborn that you can't shut off everyone's other ideas. You can't say, no, 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 I'm, I'm better. It's like arrogance, once again. Stubbornness is like one of those symptoms from arrogance. That's what I feel. And I just can't believe that people were so stubborn at the court. And I just couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Like, I couldn't understand that these people were going to be people that I was going to play badminton with. Oh my gosh. 
And, you know, stubbornness is fine once again. It's just that when you're stubborn, okay, there's a point where you have to stop. There's a point where you have to think, hmm, maybe my idea wasn't perfect. Maybe, you know, there are, there are things that I still need to learn. Because stubbornness means that you're not able to learn. It's like you have this... You have your thought, and that's it. It's dead. It's set in stone. You can't change it. You, no one can change it. Nothing can change it. And that's what pisses me off. It always pisses me off is that stubbornness is like, fine, be stubborn. Be stubborn. It's a little. But don't be stubborn about everything. You're not always right. When people think they're always right, that's the biggest problem. I can't stand those people. They cannot be my friends because they are not open to anything. But anyways, back to the point. Um, you know, I had a good match. There were some good matches. Um, it was good. I, I won a lot of my matches. Yes! Because I'm a competitive guy. No. But, um, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'm a little stubborn. I have my own viewpoints on stuff. But, um, I mean, I'm always open to stuff. You know, I want to meet new friends, so I'm not arrogant at all. I mean, I love to meet new friends. And speaking of new things... If you're a new subscriber, if you're a new viewer, thank you so much for watching. Once again, I don't make these videos to get hits, to be a partner, to be all this stuff. Because I feel as if once you get really up on YouTube, you start to lose why you made videos in the first place. You start to think that money might be ahead. But once again, this is just what I think. But I know a lot of people that are up there. They, they started very low and I got to know them. And they're very nice people. So, I mean... This could be possible. I'm just... I'm just... I'm just blowing this out loud. But, I mean... Once again, if you're a new viewer, if you're a new watcher, thank you so much for watching. And if you're an existing viewer, an existing watcher, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I mean, my subscriber module hasn't been very well lately. It's been under 100, which means that I've had about less than 100 of my subscribers out of my 6,500 subscribers, about, to, you know, watch my videos. And, I mean, it's tough, especially when you don't upload for a few months. It's for, you know, exams and stuff. It's tough. And... I want to get back up and just have good viewership, not, you know, to be partnered or anything. Partnered is good, but I mean, just to have a great platform. I feel as if YouTube is a good platform. You know, quite often there is arrogance and stubbornness, but once again, it's a good platform. And once again, I think the world is bombarded with these two traits, but you just have to steer clear away from it. And to you guys, of course you guys aren't arrogant. You guys are wonderful people for watching up to here. And I just hope you learned something. If you want to add something, you can feel free to leave it in comments. Once again, if you're a new watcher, if you like my stuff, um, feel free to watch some of my older videos. Bam! On the side. And um, of course, subscribe if you want. Um, no hassle. And I will see you guys very soon. Oh yeah, by the way, please rate this video so that I kind of know if you like these type of videos. I like to talk, so, you know, I want to continue making these videos and most of all I did start a new blog um, sweetfilms.blogspot.com so link down below I'll have a little follow up to this video um, once again link down below feel free to read it and I'd really appreciate it. anyways my name is Jeremy this is what I thought about today and it's all that mattered to me uh, I sound like Phil DeFranco but I'm not he's sexier <laughs> but uh, I will see you guys soon I don't know how to get out here so I'm just gonna walk away Oh yeah, I have to wear my slippers. I'm getting old. I'm actually having trouble walking. Bye! -bye.